Hello there YouTube and welcome back to Warfinder guys. Today I'm going to be taking out the AMX30 B2 at 8.7, the slightly upgraded version of the AMX30 1972. Now, what are the main differences between this? Why is this a full battle rating above it? Does this get access to a stabilizer? Nope. Does it have better armor? No. Does it have better top speed? Nope. Better maneuverability? No. <laughs> Does it have better traverse speed on the turret and elevation? No. The main difference and the best and the biggest difference is the addition of APFS DS shells. These transform the tank. It makes it so much easier to kill targets with this shell. Now, if we want to be you know, picky, they could probably add APDS for this one, which would make it a hell of a lot better. I would prefer APDS at 7.7, .7. I'd use it all the time. But it doesn't get it, so we've got a really good tank with really shit ammo. But when you go up to the AMX 30B2, you've got a really good tank with really good ammo. And the addition as well, guys, of an improved rangefinder. These are like the laser-guided rangefinders and they're more accurate with their long range reading. You can go up to, I think it's 3000 meters or so with this rangefinder. However, when using a rangefinder at rank six or any rangefinder, don't take the range as gospel, more of um, a indication of an about distance because I've fired at tanks that are 2400 meters away and it's been slightly off and you have to adjust for that. So it's more of a guide than an actual precise reading. So be aware of that guys. Also, I'm able to now use the Bourguignon or Bourbon or whatever the fuck it's called, this one, which is nice. You get to use a jet eventually. However, this jet is slow as fuck. It really is. And at 8.0, you're going to be facing really good jets. And when you're playing 9.0, because I do have the AMX-13 hotting, um, there's possibilities of me fighting um, CL-13s, which are incredibly, insanely fast compared to this. Um, MiG-15 busies, the list could go on for a while. So you will have to fly defensively quite a lot with this jet. Also, which I find really, really annoying, is the rocket pods slow you down by 198 miles an hour. The rocket pods that I'm using here, um, these rockets, the SNEB rockets, are 300 millimeters of pen. You can use the T10-151 rockets. There you get 16 of those with 400 and 50 mil of pen, or the T10-140s, but they only get 30 millimeters of pen. You also get access to two 500s and, a and 2,000 pounds of bombs. So if I lock onto this and like come out of this, you can see, look, 2,000 pounds of bombs drops your speed, or minus is your top speed, by 121 miles an hour. How the hell is 2,000 pounds lighter than two streamlined rocket pods. Now obviously you do get 38 rockets in here, but when you fire them off, you know, if it moves, there we go, this detaches here, this detaches, and it leaves very small little rockets in here that do a significant amount of damage, but they are very small light rockets. I just, it, I don't know, it just leaves me speechless that it drops so much speed off this plane when it already struggles to maintain a decent top speed anyway at such a high battle rating considering what you're gonna be fighting. So, ran over. <laughs> it's a, it's not a bad jet to be fair, as long as you don't start facing CL-13s and MiG-15 bizzes because you are literally up shit street if you do. So guys, sit back, relax, and let's jump into some gameplay. Oh, at least we've got the Russians on our team anyway. Hello. 
when they get this tank speed, you know, get a huge fucking chunk off as well. Yeah. Yeah, I think I got something like um, 14,000 or whatever it was off the next tank afterwards when I, when I spayed in my one. Yeah, I don't think I'm that far off, to be honest. Oh, shit. That was too low. MBT. Hang on. I've killed his driver, but I've hit his ammo and it's not even killed him. There we go, got his ammo rack. <laughs> that was fucking panic staging. I couldn't reverse any faster. Yeah, I'm, I'm, I tried to fucking get his ammo with a first shot. Oh and it hit the ammo, but it just went through and killed the driver instead. I was literally fucking me all drinking 50 pound chili. <laughs> <laughs> okay, man. Just watch me shells harmlessly bounce off your fucking upper glaciers. Yeah. Well, heat shells really don't do nothing to it because of the um, composite armour underneath. Shit. There's one. He ain't even seen me. That was nice of you to stop and let me ammo rack you. Cheers, mate. <laughs> I'm not sure where I've just been hit from. I think it was from behind somewhere. Well, if we're facing KPZs, it probably was from behind. Yeah, somebody right. just killed him. Look, you know. He shit loads of pissing points for bounty. <laughs> oh, Rakuten Yagpans, a white one as well. That's inconspicuous, mate. Another one. Looking forward to watching Colin bloody uh, spading this tank. It's hard enough for us. Poor old Colin. <laughs> <clears throat> yeah, because he's never really been at top tier, as he? He's going to be a, a real fucking um, learning curve for Colin, I think. I can't wait to see his fear when he sees two mice fucking crawling along the street oh. I'm stuck <laughs> I'm stuck no I'm not I'm good I think yeah there we go oh my god up up use a camp on there spot um do, 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 do. there's got to be more of them somewhere they'll probably hold up oh shit hang on Oh, damn. Pen him, pen him, pen him, pen him. Oh, come on! Oh, my God. <laughs> there was one hiding right behind me. Just hiding just in front of my fucking burning rack. Jesus. What a fucking piss take. <sighs> He had his turret in a building so nobody could see him. I'm getting little fucking mini lag tremors again or whatever you want to call them. Little lag spikes. Well, it's wanting to pull the opposite way to the fucking way I'm trying to go. Alright, let's see if I can see that guy unless you can bomb him. I'm glad you can, because I have no idea where he was. Lovely. Cheeky bastard. He was like right behind the point, and the fucking Tories actually hiding in the building so nobody yeah. can see the camera. Check the scores. K 
Okay, they've got six left. They've got to be hiding near the, near the cap somewhere. Oh, you got him. Right, I'm going to roll their cap. And see if I can get a few of them to break cover and go after it. Oh, that guy's going to jump right on it. Good for him. Oh! Fucking RU251 just smashed right into me. <laughs> <laughs> Jesus Christ. Where has he gone? Oh, there he is. Oh, he's taken out my cannon. No fucking way. Oh, I'm being shot by a Kugel Blitz. Uh, that's me dead. Oh, God damn it. All right, hang on. Let's see if I can, can spot him. Oh, here he is. I think I see him. Is that a shadow? No, I see... Oh, no, I see a Japard. A Japard. Got him. He's definitely out the game. Good. Uh, where the... Hell, was that guy that killed me? Unless someone's got him. But I didn't see it come up as an assist. Um, I do have an assist, so he must have got killed by someone else. Oh, I can see one moving to B right now. Right from their spawn. Right there. I've detracted him. Oh shit. And then swing that round. You do have to hit your targets with these rockets from literally head on. Otherwise, they go through the tank, but they don't do that much damage. It's only minimal. There we go. It's kind of like with um, the way the APDS works when you're facing um, Panthers. You know, hit them centre mass and then it usually one-shots them. Holy shit, are they in their spawn? Yeah. I'll, I'll try to mark, I don't think he's in our spawn. I think he's on the fucking rocks on H. He's somewhere high or pretty close. I see him, I see him. What a cheeky little git. Yeah, he's up there, he's just ducked down below it. Oh, what? They never hit him. He's moving onto that main road in front of our spawn zone. No, he's not. He's turned back in towards own rocks. Oh, no. It's all right. I see him anyway. I'll, I'll take this guy and go after that D.O. No, I won't. Ah, God damn it. Fucking hell. Oh, I see him. Oh! You fucking prick. Yeah. Oh, with a missile as well, the cheeky bastard. Fucking point and click. <laughs> Holy shit, again! Set up by a fucking missile and the weapon finish me off. Thank you. And nothing's gone to see. I'm fucking scared to go there now. I'll give it a minute, see if anything comes along. Oh, fuck it, 
guns and charge it. Might as well. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Oh, there's a Jepard. I'm not going to be able to get to him before he gets behind that ridge. Nope. What I will be able to do is hide behind this building and when he comes up, I'll shoot him in the fucking side. <laughs> Let's have a nice look at you. And you're dead. I bet he didn't expect that when he woke up this morning. Oh, I am, mate, yeah. I mean, why does it this have some sort of composite armour as well? You know, you think the upgraded version of it would have a bit more, but it doesn't. There's another one. <clears throat> reload, reload, reload. Ah, you shitty bum. No. <laughs> That hurt. That hurt a lot. And I can't it's replace... Yeah. Arizona, yeah. <laughs> Fucking hell. Well, considering there's only four of them, you, you definitely need it to produce a lot of smoke. Just wish I hadn't driven on. I wish I'd sat next to it. I could probably got both of those if I hadn't, hadn't have driven on it. Oh, do fucking behave. I've only made these cannon breaks slight, like slightly yellow. Just only slightly. Tad orangey yellow. Oh, he's dead. Where's the fucking Leo gone? Oh, hang on. Bingo. There's another one down. Oh, screw you, Leo. That is not fucking neighbourly. Got his cannon breach. Oh, piss. <laughs> no! I was having such a good little run there. Fuck. Oh, it is such a weak tank. It's got such weak armour. That was only literally one or two shots that really hit me then. God damn it. Uh, do you know, I'm going to have to go for this guy first before I drop these um, rockets off and some targets. No, he's got him. Not sure what that is, but I should be able to kill it. Is 
Is that bagel panza? I think it is. Yep, got him. Oh, nice. It was a guy in the Leo that got me as well. Oh, no, it wasn't the guy in the jet, sorry, that got me. Bit of a spam there, but I've got him it nonetheless. Um, oh, we've got some in there spawn over here as well. Go for this racket in the Ag Panzer. Holy shit, what the fuck shot me? Oh, fucking Japard. I'm losing air speed. I got no engine. No engine. No. I'm determined to get him. Let me get you. Stay still. Da! Bollocks. <laughs> I'm seriously going to get that Japard. Oh, please don't tell me someone's killed him. No, they haven't killed him. Good. It's a different Japard. See, this isn't a bad jet if you use it in um, Grand RB. It's just not very good in Air RB. Oh, I see you. <laughs> Screw you, mate. See if I can get this guy. I think it's another Babel Panzer. Ah, oh, someone got him just before I did. MiG 17. And we've got another SPAA up as well. Nope. Oh, you've got to be shitting me. No. Welcome back to the hangar, guys. So, as you can see, a much better upgraded version of the AMX 30 1972. And it is simply due to the fact that it gets a secondary shell that it can use. A much improved shell that you can effectively one-shot your enemies with. Unfortunately, the tank still has major drawbacks, that being it doesn't have gun stabilization at 8.7 slash 9BR, because that's literally what you're gonna be bumped up to, regardless of if I had the 9.0 in or not. It kind of affects the tank in a big way, because you're able to get around relatively quickly in this tank, however, you do have to stop to shoot your target because even the slightest bump affects the tank's gun quite a lot. It is very, very bouncy. And every single enemy team that you're gonna face will have gun stabilization at their BR. So they're able to drive along as fast as they possibly can and shooting over and over and over where you have to sit still and become a very easy static target for them to basically shoots at and I've had some really weird matchups where I've had the Russians and the Japanese on my team um, fighting against the Americans, Germans and the British and then I've been squatted up with the Germans, the Russians um, fighting against the American, British and Japanese so you're not really in a set line you know like access or whatever or cold war era against cold war era because if it was truly like that it'd be everyone against russia every single game and it's really not fair to have that sort of a lineup but the thing is they all have stabilized cannons and if you're going to be playing top tier french you just won't hopefully with future updates we'll get improved french tanks with improved gun stabilization like literally real gun stabilizers that would be amazing and decent ammunition for the early tier fives slash early tier sixes they'd be really really well appreciated from the community i think 
So guys, I hope you've enjoyed today's gameplay. If you have, feel free to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already. And if you do subscribe, guys, don't forget to hit the notifications bell for updates on co future content. Also, guys, a thumbs up is appreciated. It does help the channel. And don't forget to comment below if you'd like to see a specific tank or combo taken out by myself in a future video. So until next time, guys, I will see you soon and have fun.